Hi friends, this is welcome to Ahilu Arts channel. This is Uma. In this video, we are going to see yet another um, most simple stitch, which is a spike stitch. Okay, you, you would have seen the thumbnail of the video. Spike stitch is most elegant and most simple stitch. All we have to do is uh, the single crochet. So a beginner who learnt only the single crochet can able to do this pattern. Okay, this since we are using single crochet the tie the stitches will be very tight and it can be used to make blankets spot holders um, um dish cloths and even sweater you can do this uh, you can do with this pattern okay so this is the um um user friendly customizable pattern okay uh, it, you can you can decide the number of spikes and you can decide the number of stitches okay um, I am doing a multiples of five. Okay, uh, I, I'll tell you how we will will be able to uh, customize uh, the stitches at, at the end of the video. Now I am going to do the multiples of five. Okay, so in order to have multiples of five stitches, I have to have multiples of five plus one chain, right? So I'll be having um, sixteen chains so that I'll have fifteen stitches okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so i have 16 chains so we'll have 15 stitches so you i mean our regular uh, uh, viewers know that we won't do the single crochet i mean any stitches in the front loop or back loop we will just turn it upside down and do the stitches in the back bump so that we'll be having a perfect finishing of the V's on the back side also so turn your work this is not the chain this is the loop this is the first chain skip that and insert into the bump of second chain and do a single crochet single crochet is insert pull up yarn over pull through right so this is what we'll be doing throughout the 15 chains okay so since we are doing the stitches in the back bump of the foundation chain if you see here this side also is having the perfect finishing so when you uh, when you do big projects like blankets or um, uh, shawls or sweaters you need not have to do a border round in order to have a perfect finishing so this itself will be having a perfect v's at the other end too if you work in the back bump instead of the loops in the front okay so now I have done the first row all right if you see here this is my back side sorry bottom side this is my top side both are the same so now chain one turn your work to another row of single crochet like I said, this is the most customizable pattern. Since I have done multiples of 5 stitches, I will be doing 5 rows. If you have done multiples of 4, you, you should do only 4 num rows. Okay, So the spike will sit according to the number of, um, number of stitches and number of rows you have. Okay. So I will do four more rows of single crochet and I'll meet you at the end of the fifth round. So we'll make a spike in the sixth row. Okay. And definitely you have to have at least two colors for this pattern. Okay. Then only the spike will be seen more, more elegantly. Okay. So continue this. Meet me at the end of fifth row. Okay. See, I have done five rows of single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now 
I do, I'm not cutting this yarn because I'll be using this after the spike row. Now we have to join a new color which complements the first color to do the spike row. Alright. Just a minute. Now I am choosing this color which actually goes with the first color and start. Okay. I am starting on the other side where my tail end is not there. Okay. So insert into the new color chain one then start doing the single crochet insert into the same stitch pull up single crochet okay now listen very carefully this is the row which forms the pattern okay so in order to make the spike um, first row first stitch is having is, is will be in the first row so for the second stitch I am going to the second row i am not doing the single crochet in here but i'll be doing here i'm not doing in here i'll do in here the second row second stitch of second row so insert into the gap pull up pull till the top yarn over pull through technically i'm doing the single crochet only but not on the current row but the one row before so now for the third stitch i'm going to the third row see the third stitch in the third row insert pull up pull till the top yarn over pull through okay so fourth stitch will fall in the fourth row pull up to the single crochet all right and fifth row fifth stitch will fall in the fifth row now you can see the how the spikes are forming pull up till the top and pull through so if you see here we have done five stitches one two three four five but not on the same row it goes one row below so now again since we are in the sixth stitch which is technically the next set of five so start from the first row and for the second stitch you can easily see the stitches whichever V you are seeing properly uh, completely that is the next stitch you are you will be working on so insert into the next stitch in the next row then the third stitch in the third row and fourth stitch in the fourth row pull till the top and the fifth stitch in the fifth row do very um, loosely okay if you do the if you do it tight then the spike won't be seen properly okay see we have done the next set of spikes now start from the beginning one two three four and five in the fifth row right some people won't do the um, fifth row in the exact fifth uh, fifth stitch in exact fifth row in the last stitch because they want to secure the tail end so they'll do the uh, they do the last stitch in the first row only or else they'll do one more chain instead of five multiples they'll do five plus one and they'll do the fifth stitch in the current row itself like this okay 
like this i do not want that because that breaks the spike so what i'll do i'll do the fifth stitch in the fifth row pull up and do the stitch very tight so that it won't come off okay now you can cut this sorry you can cut this yarn and continue the single crochet of the fifth row sixth row so we have already do did the chain one start from the first row first row in the sense now we are going to do the five five rows of single crochet again so one two even though we started the uh, each stitch in each row we we will be definitely having 15 stitch because we have we haven't done any increase right so at the end of this round this row will be having 15 stitch to continue the next set let's call the five um, single crochet row and one spike row as a set if that is the case then we are starting the next set see see the spike row has come very beautifully on both the sides that's why we have to do very loosely okay so what we are going to do now is uh, i'm not going to do that but i'm saying now after the first set what you have to do again do five more rows and do the spike row um when i said it's the most customizable pattern what i meant is see i am i have done multiples of five so i am having five spikes in each set one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five if you do in multiples of six you will be having six spikes for each set if you are doing only four multiples you will be having four spikes so usually four five six is a reasonable amount of spikes so if you want to continue uh, if you want to customize your own uh, blanket or anything what that you are doing you can do um, whatever multiples of stitch you are doing that many number of rows you have to do and that many number of spikes you will be having i have five stitches i mean multiples of five stitches and five rows i am having five spikes if you are doing four you will get four if you are doing six you will get six so this is the spike stitch we have been talking about it's very good it's very easy so do this share your photographs in our um, facebook group or facebook page or you can tag me at ahilu arts and uh, share your photo in insta also and uh, share it with your friends comment your suggestions in the comment section more importantly subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video thank you bye bye